Regional Engineer Region 5 recently spoke on the chairman's allegations about a breach in the sea defense located in the Maikoni area. More details in this report. Following a recent interview with Regional Executive Officer Region 5, Mr. Ovid Morrison, it was reported that the Regional Chairman made several allegations concerning an apparent breach in the sea defense structure located at Maikoni, West Coast, Burbese. Regional Engineer Region 5, Mr. Dan Paul Sugar, who was present at the time, sought to clarify the issue and explained. In the Rebecca's Lost fair field area um, starting somewhat late February um, we did receive numerous reports from residents that um, the seawater was coming into the residential area and um, at that point in time it was stated that it was a breach. Immediately the regional administration made contact with uh, the River and Sea Defense Board, the National River and Sea Defense Board that is, the CDC, along with other government agencies responsible for these type of um, infrastructure. Within a day or two, materials, machinery, and a contractor was mobilized to that area um, to commence work. Several preventative measures were subsequently taken, including temporary riprap structures. However, due to the recent increase in the level of the high tide, the area is now being affected once more. During the course of between March and uh, this month, there has been a rise in the, in the tide and so on um, within that area, and we have observed that the shoreline just in front of where the said bridge was, there has been an erosion of the shoreline as well as um, partial destruction of, and in some instances, severe destruction of the mangrove protection um, line, resulting in three sections having overtopping at the, the, when the tide is, is, is at its highest point. Now, the said machineries and contractor that was mobilized to do the sealing of the first breach has been on site since the breach was first reported and continues to be on site along with materials, along with the equipment present to seal any overtopping that is currently happening there. Due to the overtopping and influx of the seawater, farmers are now being affected by saltwater intrusion. Because of the closeness to the Atlantic as well as the, to the uh, western side you have the Mahaika River, usually there is a saltwater intrusion within that zone in the facade canal. This is not the first time and it is not just as a result of the overtapping that is happening within that area. What I know and what has been reported is that because of the salt water presence within the, um, drain the, the irrigation network there, farmers have been unable to cultivate. Whether there have been damages or not, that was not brought to our attention, but I am aware that there are some um, areas that could not have been cultivated because of the presence of the salt water in the network. The regional engineer concluded by disclosing that the Centers for Disaster Control, CDC, and the National River and Sea Defense Board are aware of the situation and measures are being put in place, despite current financial constraints due to the magnitude of work that has to be executed in the said area. Sasha Ramsaran reporting for Channel 8 News.